Recently in high schools, such as Berthoud, open social networking has been unblocked from the filters allowing students to access sites such as Facebook and YouTube while in school. However, questions have been asked. Could this improve the learning of students or will it simply be a distraction? Mr. Gallagher, an English teacher here at Berthoud High, shares his views on the subject. I think that there are a lot of potential benefits to it. One of the biggest, and this is in a very general sense, is we have to help students understand how to negotiate distractions in the digital world. And the truth is, most of the adults in this school, myself included, struggle with this as well as the students do because we're not encountering, oh, well, you're just immature and you haven't figured out how to manage this yet. What's happening is we're experiencing a cultural shift where this is new to everybody. Well, I think we need to look at how our generation uses technology and the sources that they have at their hand and use that as an asset instead of see it as a problem. I'm for the, ex the experience to be able to enhance if it helps enhance what we do. Um, many of our staff have Facebook accounts. I mean, our guest speaker has a Facebook account, so uh, you want to give uh, students access. You just hope that they handle it the right way. Having social sites open within the school is one thing, but could using these sites in the classroom provide the ability for students to improve their education? So you could use it in the classroom to look up things, to um, help your research, you know, talk to people. I mean, gosh, you can talk to people all over the world. Everybody's so versed in Facebook. They're very familiar with it, very comfortable in that platform. So it seems like the, the obvious tool to try to use. At Bolas High School, open networking has been successfully used to teach an AP U.S. History class. My name is Sarah Ramine and I teach AP United States History, which at Bolas is a class for high school juniors. And we do a chronological study of American history and right now we're studying the early 19th century. And every year I've had the students do a project where they've looked at reformers and politicians and religious leaders and political leaders. And typically it's been more of a traditional biography project. Students have researched their people, they've done some kind of PowerPoint, they've done some kind of oral presentation. And this year I thought it would be great if we could use Facebook and use technology to make the project more realistic, to have connections to modern day, and to use something that the students are already doing on their own. The kids went above and beyond the Call of Duty, and the thing about Facebook is you can see when things are posted. And I was amazed because it went over a couple of weeks, and I would see on a Saturday night at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, people are posting pictures or uploading videos, and um, students got very creative with it. We had what I call the virtual salon, and we all met in the library, and everybody was on a computer, and instead of sort of speaking face to face, everybody was posting simultaneously on each other's pages. And over the course of 45 minutes, there was a huge amount of discussion going on in the class, but it was happening virtually online. Although the school has been successful, others believe open networking in school is not a wise choice. My feelings on Facebook in the school, Facebook is one of the biggest wastes of time I've ever seen as a teacher. Uh, whenever I go to the computer lab with students, they sit down and they log into their Facebook before they log into the task that I've given them. They keep a tab open in the browser for Facebook while they're doing whatever I'm doing and every few minutes they'll switch over and then they'll update their status or respond to somebody else. Um, it, it's really, it's more of an, a distraction than just about anything else I've seen. You guys would be texting all the time or Facebooking when they're supposed to be listening in class. But I think if you set up expectations and how to use it and what, you know, what is expected of you in the classroom. However, students feel quite optimistic on having open social networking to aid their education. Several things, like several groups or stuff on Facebook to definitely aid teachers in their learning and teaching students and students in their learning because there's so many great opportunities out there. Overall, we feel along with our supporters that having open networking in school will be beneficial for both student and teacher. Did it, did
ਵਿੱਚ